Uh, folks, we know that the mountainous region around the border of Tennessee and North Carolina has been musically rich for more than a century. This next artist is from this century, and she's got a lot to say. Uh, she's been compared to some of the greatest songwriters in Roots Music, and you're about to see why. Please welcome Shelley Rose. Thank y'all. Good to see you. Said my photograph looks kind of mean. I said, Ooh, rich blood. Said my name has got a certain ring. I said, Ooh, rich blood. Granny mom raised up North Carolina. Passed that gene on down the line. I couldn't get away from it if I tried. Ooh, rich blood. And somebody told me when I was a little girl, Ooh, rich blood. Better change the way I talk, never make it in this world. Gypsy Ruby 
Music City Roots. I want to send a big shout out to WMOT tonight, who's been supporting my record. We're playing songs off that, Blue Ridge Blood, and also um, my previous album, Ghost of Brighter Holler. So, shout out to them and and gratitude to uh, Music City Roots for having us out tonight. We're to be here. Yeah. I'm doing a song. I'm doing a train song. It's called Southern 4501, and I actually dreamed this song, which is weird. That's happened to me before, so I uh, dreamed about this song and wrote it. It's called Southern 4501.
crown Black velvet plowing through the snow She blew along some sound The crowd gathered at the crossing Just to watch her scrape the rail and You'd better back it up, I heard Mayor Evelyn yell When she come, when she comes Southern George McCann lived by the county track and me and his sweet Linda count the freight car when they pass Y'all look mighty pretty out there over here on the bass guitar, I got Mr. Paul Slifka. I got some pretty handsome boys up here. I, I, I don't want them to know that I hire them for their looks, but I kind of handpick them because they just look so good, you know? They make me look good and make me sound good. Actually, Paul's been playing with me for about 17 years, off and on. Well, this song called Reck Reckon with the Devil, and it's on my new album called Blue Ridge Blood. Oh, that was Sergio Webb. I'm going to have to deduct that out of your pay. Well, I planned that. <laughs> I know that sounded so good on the radio people's ears. Yeah. That was not me, y'all. You can, you can write to him on Facebook. <laughs> it stayed in tune. God love. It stayed in tune? Yeah. I guess. Well, then it's doing better than me. <laughs> I come from East Tennessee, and uh, my people are on both sides of the mountain, East Tennessee and Western North Carolina, Franklin, North Carolina, to be exact, and... Uh, uh, so I write a lot about that region, uh, tends to be a reoccurring theme with me. And uh, I'm kind of veering off from that right now in my writing, but um, I've really enjoyed digging into that for a long time. And, and uh, it's just a never-ending well of material. All right. See, he'd drop his guitar and still be doing better than me. That's what pros, that's why you pay for pro. <laughs> All right. You can pray, you can fight. You can get down on your knees every night But you can't save them You can't lift them from turmoil You can't reckon with the devil No, you can't reckon with the devil You can't stop the train You can't block the lane They'll throw the blame Or the sorrow or the shame all you can do is hold out your hand and tell them that you love them and that you understand. And they ain't gonna listen, they do what they want, cause everything is wrong. Don't you know it's your fault and you can't pray? Save on You can't lift on front turmoil You can't reckon with the devil No, you can't reckon with the devil You can't stop the train You can't block the lane They'll throw the blame Or the sorrow or the shame It's 
It's like ice water running through your veins And your sweet soul circling the drain Get down on my knees every night. I can't save them. I can't lift them from turmoil. I can't reckon with the devil. No, I can't reckon with the devil. I can't stop the train. I can't block the lane. They'll throw the blame. Oh, the sorrow, oh, the shame. Thank you very much. Pete Kokorak on the drums back here. Sergio Webb on the <laughs> noise is there. Guitars and dobro and banjo and he do it all. All right, we got one more for you. This is called Rufus Morgan Preacher Man that I wrote about a cousin of mine. Make sure I'm good here. He was a uh, Episcopal preacher over in Franklin, North Carolina, and did a ro lot of really cool things. And encouraged a lot of younger people to maintain the trails uh, to Mount Lacan, and he hiked it till he was like 92 years old before he passed. And just a really super cool human being that I was proud to be kin to. <laughs> Hold out 
out your hand to those that down on their luck and be a preacher and be a teacher and a helper of mankind. You be a walker and be a talker. You keep the mountain people. You keep them on your mind. Here we go. to the chat room right now, Craig Havoghurst with Shelly. What's One going on? One more time for Shelly Rose, everybody. Good Lord. Thank y'all. Y'all are great. Thanks. I, do, I, I did not realize you rocked so hard. That was, uh, that <laughs> had some grungy power, some grungy mountain power there. Oh, thanks. Thanks. I'm rusty because I haven't played since December, which is the last time we talked. That's right. That was a so. wonderful night because, uh, well, day, daytime, we took, we, um, I had not heard you play live before that point and I, and I, I'd not really made the strong geographical connection, the strong sense yeah. that your music and your person and everything was really of that area. And that meant a lot because uh, I, I came away like. Because you're a North Carolina boy too, right? I am. I am. But not mountains. <laughs> There's P a lot Piedmont. of North Carolina boys around here tonight. How <laughs> So, <laughs> South Carolina, but South Carolina. we let him get away Sorry, with it. Sorry, but yeah. Carolina still, baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, You've recently moved uh, moved back even into I your did. hometown home home place. I actually moved into the house that I grew up in, Amazing. the same land that my great grandparents farmed yeah. since uh, 1919, and God. so that's been um, an adventure, <laughs> a labor of love. But it's really cool, and um, and I'm proud. I'm proud. It feels really good. So how do you, how are you? How are you as a writer documenting that? Do you sit down and sort of journal that? Or do you does it? Do you sit and when you write every day? Is that the thing that comes out? Well, it's really matter? strange because I've written three albums around that whole region while living here in Nashville, oh. which is strange. But I moved here in '96, and that's just kind of what would come out. Then I moved back to East Tennessee, where I'm from, where you would think I would be more influenced by that. And now I'm writing a rock record okay. <laughs> that I'm probably going to record in LA. So <laughs> I don't know how that works, but like, uh, it's weird. So yeah, just sort of moving in a different, different thing, which is, which is fun. Kind of um, makes sense. So, uh, yeah, Sergio, uh, I bought a I bought a new guitar and, and it tickles him because he's all you know everybody's like you never play electric but I actually bought a uh, Telecaster and I'm like look uh, out. Oh really? <laughs> so, well great. You we'll see have if these, I can play it or not. Gotta have though. these chapters. You've got a musician's got to find a new a new groove and a new vibe every now and then. Yeah, it's but fun. I, but I did want to ask you. Um, so much has been made in these recent years in the in the national media about sort of Appalachian people and the way their stories are told. There was a wonderful piece that I just flagged 
uh, about journalism and about the difference between fly-in parachute journalists from the Times or the Post who come in and try to figure out oh, the yeah. America that's there. And they, their intentions may be good, but the, the, the way that it happens usually leaves the people there going, I don't recognize myself, versus the journalism and the storytelling and the art that comes from the region. Yeah. What do you think that the world needs to understand about Appalachia that they don't? that we're just a very unique and um, and magical people. I feel like that people from my region, um, we just are survivors and know how to make something from nothing. And <laughs> I grew up that way, that's how I was raised. And um, and I didn't realize that that was a gift and it is. Right. And, and, and the crafts are a huge part of our, of our uh, culture and music and um, so I don't know if it's necessarily people understanding it or not as much as just allowing themselves to kind of be open to something they might think is backwards, but actually we, we consider us, ourselves forward. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else is backward. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm just kidding. The music's always <laughs> carried the message for me. Yeah. It's always been like, if you listen to the music, you're going to get it. It's not uh, it's not a real hidden, hidden thing. The, the songs and the going back on couple hundred years yeah uh, carry yeah. that and I love the play on words in Blue Ridge blood I love oh, I love that you. little hidden uh, reference to royalty and the feeling <laughs> that you got to think of yourself as a blue blood and yeah. Uh, yeah. and it's a great a great little thank play you. thank you um, you so you've, you've given a sense of what's coming next I'd love to hear also you talk about what you think that region, your home region, and Nashville, what kind of dialogue they've had? Because we know a lot of great country stars from Chet Atkins to Kenny Jesney have come from that oh, area. Oh, yeah, and I'm so proud. of. Yeah. There's so many great artists that have come from East Tennessee. I actually knew Kenny before he came over here and made it to a big star. I worked yeah. at Whittle Communications with his cousin and, and uh, hung out with his sister, and his mom cut my hair. <laughs> 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 and uh, Kenny's just a good old boy from East Tennessee and a hard worker. And But a mm -hmm. whole lot of talent has come from over there. Um, and still is. Um, yeah. My future sister-in-law, Emmy Sunshine, is coming up, and she's she's amazing, uh. and she's like this prodigy, and she's just she's amazing. So I mean, I could just go on and on about the talent from there, but mm -hmm. um, it runs deep, and a lot of time it's, it makes its way over here, and you know, back and forth. Yeah, and this for for decades, this has been the town that if those folks wanted to go from regional to national. This is where they came down a little bit. You, people can go to yeah. Asheville to make a, yeah. a music career now. There's a music industry town there. But Nashville has been accommodating, and, and people come to write. They come to play and perform. Yeah. It's been incredible. I think it's a good influence. I love it when I hear that in people's music, and I, I always can hear it. I can, I can, My ear goes straight to that if I'm listening to something. I can hear that influence, especially from the Carolinas. Yeah. 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 Well, it sounds like you've had a, a few changes over the recent years, too, just like getting over some health issues. And you also wrote in your bio about an about a, a Indian shaman, apparently, that uh, oh, gave no. you some advice. What, what was yeah. that all about? You know, I actually lost him this past year, and I lost my producer, George Reef, who he engineered and played bass on Ghost of Brother Holler, and then he he produced Blue Ridge Blood and lost him to cancer. And my shaman, I call him my little medicine man from Alabama, but mm. he helped me uh, recover pretty good from thyroid disease and I was doing really, really well. Um, I had a record that was doing good and then it just, I just got knocked down and I didn't know what was wrong and it was thyroid disease. And mm. so he helped me and I got better for a long time and started working again, and then I got knocked down again, and now I'm trying to get back up, dust off again. And okay. if y'all got hit in the head with a few dust bunnies, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but I really am trying because I love music so much, and I want to play so bad. And, we feel and, it. Um, we feel it. So, you know, even though it's rusty, it's it's from my heart. So Absolutely, Shelly. This is Shelly Rose, Thank and she's awesome. We appreciate you so much. Thank y'all. This is one amazingly talented songwriter. Beautiful stuff.